$100 trillion threshold has been breached by the US total debt. Here's the effect of this debt on precious metals prices and a very well-informed prediction for silver spot price. Let's dive right in. What's up you guys, it's Ocean here. It's looking like the Fed may cut rates at the end of the summer. From there, it's possible that at that point, all of us as silver stackers will look at spot price and agree that what we're seeing is a silver bull market. I'm gonna tell you about the opportunity I'm seeing in precious metals right now and how that may benefit you by the end of 2024. But first, let's talk about the US total debt and how this debt, in addition to the point I'm gonna make about the opportunity in precious metals right now, is one of the strongest reasons to stack precious metals. We have passed the $100 trillion level in US total debt and this number includes public and private debt. US debt has officially gone to the moon. And this is bullish for precious metals. The US total debt includes personal debt, mortgage debt, student loan debt, uh, credit card debt, state and local government debt, and oh, the one you've been waiting for. The US national debt now at $34.7 trillion. This is the kind of debt that collapses an empire. Gold and silver are real money that outlasts governments. This has been 100% true for the entire duration of recorded history without fail. Ultimately, a currency collapse is coming for the US dollar. I don't know when it's happening, but that's part of the end game. What we can do reliably is look at the short term, about one year out, and piece together our current news to make educated decisions on how we're gonna move forward in stacking precious metals for the rest of 2024. The Fed funds rate is high, but it should be a lot higher to combat inflation. At the same time, the Fed needs to cut rates to create more jobs. If the Fed cuts rates, it's bullish for precious metals. For the duration of the next few months, they are going to leave rates unchanged. That's pretty widely known at this point. I think it's likely that before November, we will see a motivated rate cut from the Fed, as that would be a sign <laughs> that the economy is heading in the right direction. But if that happens, a little bit of good press may end up coming back to bite the US economy because the inflation isn't under control and it's impossible for it to be controlled by the end of the year. Far and away, I'm saying this may be it for precious metals. This may be it for precious metals prices the kinds of prices that we've always known. Fiat currency inherently raises precious metals prices. The only way to go is up in precious metals. and fiat, the only way to go is down. Spot prices will only rise long term. If the Fed cuts rates, we see an immediate bullish effect in precious metals prices because yielding assets become less attractive. If the Fed continues to raise rates in this particular climate, that's also attractive for precious metals because although spot prices tend to drop, the theory behind why we're stacking is proven. If the Fed has a need to combat inflation, that proves that there is a place for precious metals in household finances as long-term inflation hedges and US dollar hedges. So right now we're in May, 2024, and rates will be left unchanged in June and July. And I personally believe the so-called summer, uh, summer doldrums will roll in and we'll see a pullback in spot prices over the course of the next couple of months. But there's a but. <laughs> But I completely believe that it is possible, at the expense of being called a pumper monger, 
I completely believe that it is possible that this summer may be the summer of silver. I romanticize stacking over the course of the next couple of months because I am personally concerned that after this September, October, November, we will be in a spot price territory unlike we have ever seen. This has been my message for 2024. I said this in my very first video of the year posted in January called Stack Before It's Too Late. Around September, October, November, be careful. And I think it would be wise to stack before those months. And that's what I'm personally doing. I'm a stacker for the long haul. I completely see it. I don't know if this will happen or not, but I believe there's some wisdom behind the idea of stack before it's too late. I'm putting more of my savings into precious metals. I do as much as I possibly can. I'm walking the line of maximizing what silver and gold I can buy and keeping the fiat cash I need on hand for monthly expenses. It's looking like the Fed may cut rates at the end of the summer. From there, it's possible that at that point, we look at the market and agree that we're in a silver bull market. I say that because I don't think everyone is convinced we're currently in a bull market. It's one thing to say silver rose 26% in the last six months and 16% in the last 60 days. But what everyone is looking for is spot price definitive, definitively over $30 to start. That's the only way for a lot of us stackers to look at, you know, $30 silver is the benchmark. And if that spot price isn't reached, the conclusion must be silver isn't going anywhere, right? So news on gold spot price has been a lot more attractive over the course of the last six months. We've seen gold rise from 1950 an ounce to 23.59 is the current spot price. That's a 20% rise. In the last 60 days, gold has appreciated relative to the dollar by 8%. So silver is outpacing gold even though it doesn't feel like it or it may not seem like silver is doing as well. Buy silver. That's the message I get. That's what the data is telling me. I think it's completely possible more likely than it's ever been. And I just wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the year, $30 silver and $2,500 gold become the new price floors with spikes intermittently appearing, taking spot price beyond those floors. But I think we may be in a new realm of precious metals prices very soon. Combine all that with a steady rise in spot price over time that just naturally occurs, I can completely see us blinking our eyes and it's 2026 and silver is regularly at a $40 spot price per ounce. Stack white as the ocean.